This Douglas fir is 62 years old. This is a ripping chain, so it files a little different, different angle. A 16 foot 6 by 10 beam out of a tree. It's uh, a lot of work, but it's a lot of gratification from uh, having it finished too, doing it yourself and having a really nice piece of lumber. I think that uh, you could probably do, one guy working by myself like this, I could probably be do about two to three beams a day with uh, the equipment that I have now and that's using a chainsaw that's a little bit too small. So you might be able to, with a little practice, when you get a little more efficient, bump that up to four. But it'd be a, you'd, earn, you'd be tired at the end of the day. It's a lot of work, but uh, very cool, very fun, and a, and a great, great project. You just got to uh, get back into the mode of take your time, the take your time mode. It's not... Uh, I mean, if you're like me, you're used to going up to the lumber store and picking something up and uh, just buying it and having it, and you really kind of take it for granted when uh, when you're using it. Take for granted how much effort and work went goes into into this. Uh, yeah, they they're running by big sawmills, but those sawmills have to be built, and there are guys out working in the woods that are falling and cutting these things, and the guys that are working to build the equipment for the loggers. It's just is an incredible amount of, of uh, manpower that goes into something like this. And you really get an appreciation for that when you cut it yourself. And then, I, you know, one thing about it is 
I'll take this beam home tonight, and this will be one of the sills for my uh, timber framed, uh, my first timber frame project. It's going to be a 12 by 16 foot shed, and this is one of the bottom, the sill boards. There's two of these, two 16s and two 12s, and, you know, it will just be, it'll mean more to me working with this. I mean, mean more to me the fact that I cut down the tree, I milled the lumber myself, and when I'm laying it out, when I'm doing my notching and all that, I just, I think I'll just take a little extra care in it because I know where it came from and I appreciate the hard work that went into it. And I know how long and how much work it would take to cut another one if I screwed it up. So, uh, I'm going to load this up on my truck and take it home and, and, uh, get started in on the notching and next time I'll cut another one. We'll see you later.